Hey guys, Coach Pippen here from Pippen Performance and welcome to The Fit Project. Your weekly workouts designed to help you be strong, be mobile. Today, Jen is with me and we'll be doing a total body workout with a little extra focus on making those shoulders and scapula work really, really nice. Office jobs tend to jack these up, so let's reprogram to do what they're meant to do. This is a great workout, you can do it a couple times a week. The only equipment you will need is a pair of dumbbells and a bench. If you don't have a bench, you can also use a chair. All right, let's get after it. Today's workout includes prone scapular cars, level one bridges, dead bugs, the curtsy lunge, push-ups on the knees, single arm rows, and the swimmer hover. All right, let's get into those prone scapular cars. So we're gonna have Jen first come down here. She's gonna lay face down. You're gonna wanna put a towel just underneath your forehead. So the first thing she's gonna think about is she's gonna try to tuck her pelvis, so she's gonna try to squeeze her butt so her lower back doesn't come into play. Next thing she's gonna do is put her hands right by her side so they're almost touching her pant legs. Make sure her chin's nice and neutral. That looks perfect right there. So the first thing she's gonna do is try to pull her shoulder blades straight up to the ceiling. Let's slow down a little there. And then now she's gonna start to keep those shoulder blades up and then she's gonna start to push down toward her glutes, keeping her sternum on the ground and now let the shoulder blades come down toward the floor. Freeze there. And now let them stay down, come up toward the ears. And now slowly keep them elevated and now go up toward the ceiling. Freeze right there. So that's one rep. So she's gonna go four more going that direction. And the goal here is to really try to think about like she's drawing a circle that's coming out of like of a magic marker from her shoulder. Nice and smooth. The more you do this, the less robotic it'll feel. Eventually you want it to be a nice smooth circle and you're kind of exploring all the different ranges that your scapula can do. Most of the time when we sit at a desk, we tend to make these things stuck. And then when you go to use your shoulders, the scapula doesn't work very well and things start to happen. Nice and smooth. Make sure her sternum doesn't come off the floor. So we're just trying to make it from the scapula. You don't want the head moving, nothing else moving. She's doing a really good job of keeping her lower back out of it by keeping her glutes engaged. Good, let's go one more that direction. Good, excellent, excellent, excellent. You can see she's keeping her hands by her side. Sometimes her hands tend to flare out, our elbows tend. So now let's go the other direction. So let's start down. Let's go down toward our butt, up to the ceiling, freeze there, come over the top. Good, and now she's making that nice big circle. Let's get four more going that direction. I try to keep the elbows still, try to keep the hands close to the legs. Basically, the only thing that should be really working is your scapula. Now, Jen has a ton of range of motion here. Yours might not look like that, that's totally fine. Just go wherever you feel comfortable. Don't make it sketchy. Excellent. Let's get two more. And perfect. All right, go ahead and flip on your back. Now we're gonna get into the level one bridge. So she's gonna have her feet a couple inches away from her butt. We're exactly where she's at. Feet are about shoulder width. She's going to pelvic tilt to flatten her lower back. So imagine the top of the pelvis is rolling backwards. The bottom of the pelvis is coming forward. She's owned that position. Now you wanna keep that the entire time. Do not lose that. And now tuck her chin ever so slightly. That's perfect. Shoulders down, so she's in a good position. And now she's gonna think about trying to drive her heels down and slowly come up as high as she can. And she's going to freeze right there. So when she does this, she should feel her glutes engage. You feel her hip flexors opening up. You should feel nothing in the lower back and nothing in the hamstrings. Keep your tilt and take it back down to the ground. That's perfect. Pause, and then now go right back up. She's coming down. She's making sure she reassesses that tilt, make sure she's in a good position. Perfect, let's get eight more of those. Back up. Don't get carried away with how high you're trying to get your hips, just go to where you feel safe. If you feel your lower back or you feel your hamstrings, especially your hamstrings cramping, that means you lost your tilt. So right now you can tell she's staying in that good tilt. She's got a nice straight line. If this pelvis rolled that way, her hamstrings or her lower back would instantly come into play and we don't want that. Excellent, she's doing a good job of keeping her chin tucked. Another thing to think about is keep reaching your fingertips toward your heels. That keeps your shoulders down and back. Excellent. Let's get four more good ones here. Good, and three. 
Sometimes you'll see people's feet start to move, but she's doing a really good job of keeping those guys still. Excellent. Let's go ahead and finish up here. All right, next thing we're gonna get into is the dead bugs. We're gonna have a arm and leg component moving here. So, once again, flatten the lower back, so she's rotating that pelvis, and now she's gonna elevate her legs and her arms. Good, perfect, right there. Keep those guys straight, chins tucked. Now, the first thing she wants to think about is imagine you have a weight scale underneath your lower back, and you're gonna try to push your lower back down into that weight scale to register the biggest number humanly possible. So, when she does that, you can see she's got more tension here. Now, she's going to take her left arm and her left leg and slowly lower them toward the ground. She's gonna freeze right there. And now she's gonna come right back up. And that's one. She's gonna get nine more of those. Go ahead. Only go to where your lower back will let you. So if she went too far down with her leg and she started to feel her pelvis hyperextend just like it just did right there, that means she can't own that position. She's not ready to go down there yet. So just go to where you can. Some people, your range of motion might only be three inches each direction. That's totally fine. Just make sure you own what you got. You own that and then eventually your body will let you go a little bit further. So she's done 10 on the left and now we're gonna go 10 on the right. So make sure the pelvis is engaged. Perfect and let's go get it. And don't get confused if all of a sudden an opposite leg starts moving, your brain gets hot wired, just try to do the best you can. And right now, let's just keep it the same side. Perfect. Slow down just a little bit. So right now, she should be feeling all this tension right here. Good, she just recentered, got really nice and tucked again. Good, this is what your abs are meant to do. They're meant to sit there and stabilize while our appendages move all over the place. Good, nice and slow, nice and slow. Excellent. You can tell she's starting to get a little tired here. She's starting to shake. That's perfect. One more good one, and she is good. And relax, come on down. All right, let's go through all that one more time. So let's flip over. Let's get in that prone position. So we're gonna do our scapular cars again. So first, make sure the chin's nice and tucked. Tuck the glutes so the lower back comes out of it. And now she's gonna pull the shoulder blades up together, take them down toward her butt, and down and complete that big circle. Excellent. You're gonna do three more going this direction, and then five going the other. Good. You can really see how her scapula are really mobile. She's getting good range of motion on both ways. All right, go ahead and switch directions. You're going to reach down and then you're gonna come up and now come up over the top, all the way down, explore that range, and then repeat. She's doing a really good job of keeping her lower back out of it, keeping her glutes engaged. If you start to feel that lower back, just reassess, tuck your pelvis again. Make sure everything's good. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Slower is always better, keep those elbows straight and relax that's perfect all right go ahead and flip on your back let's get into that bridge position so once again feet shoulder width a few inches away from the butt tuck the pelvis make sure the chin's down and back excellent all right get tight and drive through the heels go up to where you're capable of and let's we're going to go 10 here and get a little bit better pause and then down control that's perfect Now she's coming down and always making sure she retucks that pelvis before she goes right back up. Keep reaching the fingertips towards your feet. Excellent. And always remember to breathe while you're doing this. We don't really care how you breathe, just make sure you are currently breathing while you do this. And you can tell as she's starting to get a little bit more warmed up, she's starting to get a little bit more height. Those hip flexors are starting to open up a little bit. Looking really good. This is another great exercise if you've been stuck at a desk all day or if you're traveling, been sitting down for a while, stuck in your car ride home, whatever. Get your glutes kind of working a little bit better, get some good blood flow in there. Open up these hip flexors. 
That's excellent. And this is the last one. She's gonna get a good squeeze and down control. All right, let's get into those dead bugs. Everything's up. So she's gonna make sure to drive that lower back. Think of that weight scale analogy. Let's go left arm, left leg. And we're gonna go 10 each side. Slow down. That's perfect, just like that. And you can see here, as her left leg goes, this leg wants to go with it. Do not let that happen. If that happens, that means the pelvis is gonna to start to roll. She's gonna expose her lower back. Sometimes it's good to think about trying to, like you're wedging a ball between this arm and this knee. Everything stays nice and solid. She's still driving that lower back into the ground. Still breathing. She's finishing this up. She's got one more good one. And nice and controlled right there. Tuck that pelvis, make sure you're in a good spot, and let's go with the right side. Good, excellent. See how she's doing a really good job of keeping this knee still? Excellent. Nice and smooth. Neck's in a nice alignment. She's still driving that lower back into the ground. Excellent. She's got one more good one here. And come on up and take it easy. Good job. All right, so now we're going to get into the curtsy lunge. Jen, go ahead and rise up for me. So with the curtsy lunge, you want to think about starting with your foot nice and straight. Other foot right here. This is the leg that's going to be moving. So she's going to come around and she's going to reach to wherever she feels comfortable. This knee pretty, stays pretty still and then she's going to slowly lower down and then use this leg to get back up. She's not going to try to use this leg too much to push off. Make this the dominant mover. This is going to be kind of the stabilizer. So she's going to slide a little toward me. She's going to start on that left foot. We're gonna go 10, going this way. She's gonna pause. She's good right there. Now she's gonna drive up via this leg. Perfect, come on back down. Pause, and back up. Excellent. Notice she's not changing her posture too much. She's pretty much staying nice and vertical. She's keeping this foot nice and flat. Driving through the heel of the foot. Excellent. She's got two left here. Good, one more. Let's get a good pause on this one. Let's freeze right there, check in, abs engaged, chin's nice and good. She's starting to burn, and now she's gonna drive back up. Excellent, let's go to the other side. Freeze, come back up. She's keeping her posture. That's probably the most important thing to keep in mind while doing this. She's not hunching over and not letting her spine collapse. She's keeping her neck neutral. She's keeping her shoulders down. Eventually she's going to progress to holding a dumbbell. She's almost preparing herself for holding something in her hands. Pause right here. That looks good. Sometimes that foot wants to roll a little. Make sure you keep that good contact. She's good and relaxed. Perfect. All right, so now she's going to get on a push knees. So I'm going to have her put her knees here. You know, they face down. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing that we want to focus on here is making sure we have a straight line between the knee and the shoulder joint. Most people tend to stick their hips way up in the air like that, which shortens the lever. It makes it easier. But we want her to come down. She's going to tuck her pelvis, squeeze her glutes. Abs are nice engaged. She's going to screw her arms into her sockets. Nice straight line and she's gonna slowly lower her chest down to the floor, pause, and then she's going to drive right back up. That's excellent. She's staying in that same line. She did a recheck of her pelvis, and come on down, pause, and drive up. Excellent, we're just gonna get 10 here, that's two. Good, back down. Good, keep those abs engaged. There you go, she's nice and solid. Excellent. Another miscue that happens here is our elbows tend to flare out a little bit, but she's doing a really good job. They're staying pretty close. Good, abs engaged. She's got two left here. Excellent. Good, one more. Come up and hold. Make sure the pelvis is engaged. Excellent, and relax. Good job. All right, next we're gonna be over here for a single arm row. Come to the end of your bench. Get a good hinge. Hands here. And here, nice good posture, and she's gonna pull straight up and straight down. 
So you can already tell she's got a nice flat back here. Abs are engaged, soft knees, perfect, and down. Once again, you want to try to think about that elbow going straight up to the ceiling. Not getting flared out chicken wing style. That's excellent. Keep your neck nice and neutral. Sometimes people tend to lift their head and stare straight ahead. You don't want to do that. Wherever your sternum is pointing, that's kind of where you want your eyes. Looking good, you've got two left here. Perfect. All right, switch arms. While we switch sides. Good, she's actually got a good base. Sometimes we get our feet a little too close together. Go ahead and spread it out, almost make yourself like a tripod. She's got a good foot and a half in between. And she's not putting all her weight technically on her left arm. Good. You want to think like most of the weight is actually on your hips. You're using you up, not necessarily this arm. Her abs are engaged, her rib cage is nice and down, chin's tucked. She's keeping that elbow nice and tight. She's got two left here. Good, one more. And relax. All right, put that down. So now we're gonna get into the swimmer hover. She's gonna lay face down back on the mat. All right, so for the swimmer hover, we're gonna try to get every little bit of range out of your shoulders humanly possible. So you're gonna start with your arms up overhead. Good. So from this position, tuck your pelvis because your lower back will want to come into this and we want to try and keep it out. Keep your head down and turn your thumbs up to the ceiling. In this position, she's going to lift her arms as high as she can off the floor. She's got a lot of range here. Most people are not going to be able to get this high. So from this position, with both arms, she's going to try to swim out and then now she's going to rotate her elbows as much as possible until she gets to this position. She's going to freeze. So right now, she can't rotate any more than she already has. We use the elbow as the rotation point. Once she's here, she's going to bend only at the elbows. She's gonna come behind her back and she's going to freeze right in that position. Now she's going to try to lift the hand straight up and then extend at the elbow and then keep the hand high and start to unwind that shoulder as she comes over the top and puts it down. Make sure you rest in between each rep here. This is a lot more difficult than it seems. Once again, tuck the front, abs engaged, chins in neutral, lift up, and now she's gonna get her hands high, 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 high off the ground. She's rotating in, rotating in, rotating in from the elbow. Bend at the elbow joint, extend at the elbow joint now, and now get high off the ground. Excellent, you can see her shoulders are rotating. That's perfect. Come down, that's two. We got three left, and go right back up. See how she tucked her pelvis again right before she took off. She's winding the elbow in. Winding, winding, winding. Excellent. Bend at the elbow joint. Perfect. Now extend. Get high, get high, get high. That's perfect. All right, we got two left. Tuck, lift, and now let's start winding those shoulders, turning it in, turning it in. Perfect. Bend at the elbow. Extend. And let's get high off the ground. All right, last one. Good. Keep squeezing those glutes. Keep squeezing. Excellent. And only go where you are pain free on this. We have a lot of people who tend to go way too far with it. Just go to where you're capable. That's all that matters. Good job. And now we're going to go through all that one more time. Let's come on up. Let's give them those curtsy lunges. All right, feet shoulder width. Perfect. And she's going to stand on her left leg and her right leg is going to swoop around toward me. Good pause. Yep, perfect. Notice how her knee is pretty much staying right there. Sometimes that knee will tend to buckle inward, but she's doing a good job right there. The foot's staying nice and flat. Excellent. Good, she's got three left now. Good. And don't get carried away about how far you're reaching over. That's not really the point of the drill. It's just to have your pelvis rotate a little bit. Excellent, let's go now to the right. Her heels staying nice and flat with the ground. Excellent, good posture. Head's not moving, shoulders aren't rising. She's doing a really good job keeping everything under control. Looks good, looks good. She's gonna got four left now. Excellent. And relax, good job. All right, let's get up on the push-ups on the knees. So we're gonna go face down again. 
So make sure we have that straight line in between the shoulder, head, all the way down to the knee. Pelvis is engaged, abs engaged, elbows nice and tight. And she's gonna drop her chest down to the floor. Perfect. For every rep, I would just do a little check, make sure your pelvis is where it needs to be. She just adjusted her shoulders, excellent. You're gonna tuck your pelvis by squeezing your glutes. Right there, excellent, now go down. Hardest part about push-ups is keeping your spine straight. Most people tend to do the worm when they do their push-ups. That's why we tend to have people start on their knees. Make sure they own this position before they start getting onto their feet. And last one here. Excellent, all right, let's come on up. Let's get back up to single toes. So let's take that tripod position. Feet about a foot and a half apart. She's got a good hinge, all her weights on her hips, and she's gonna drive that elbow straight up to the ceiling. Back's nice and flat, head's in neutral. And you see how she's not rotating her torso side to side. You'll see a lot of people when they do rows, getting this little kind of whip action going on. You don't like that. Make it so your shoulders stay square to the ground. Here, let's go ahead and flip her around. Good, nice and engaged. Perfect. Everything is staying still. She's really just trying to work on this piece right here. So if you think about just driving that elbow up to the ceiling, that's what's going to involve that. Excellent. She's got four left here. Nice and solid. Looks good. And perfect, all right, put that on the ground. Let's finish up with those swimmer hovers. All right, once again, we wanna start by tucking the pelvis, take the lower back out of the equation. Chin's nice and neutral, thumbs up, and she's gonna lift as high as she can to the ceiling, freeze, and now her hands come out to the side, she's winding at the elbow joint. She's trying to get as much rotation as she possibly can. If you try to think about it from the hand, your hand can do a whole lot of rotating and nothing's happened actually in the shoulder. But if you think about the elbow as the driver, that shoulder will fully rotate in, which is what we're trying to get here. Staying slow, getting those hands high off the ground. Good, high, 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 good, good rotation. Now most people aren't gonna get their hands as high as she's capable of doing this. Totally fine, just go to where you are pain free. Good. Let's recheck in with that pelvis. All right, last one. Let's try to get every ounce we can. Get high, get high, get high. Good, let's extend, let's freeze there. And now let's try to get those hands a little higher. Yep, now come over to the top, Rot rotating, rotating. And that's a great job. All right, guys, that's the end of today's workout. Check us in for next time.